All right, so I uh, got some lights in from uh, eBay. I only have these at Costco and Lowe's as well, but these are the um, GE G35 light stream. And uh, they're kind of cool because each individual light um, has an RGB LED in it. And uh, they're controlled by a little uh, microcontroller here uh, that sits on a, plugs into the wall, little microcontroller. And um, so I thought it would be kind of cool to hack into these and make them do what I wanted. So I, um, I marked the negative feed there, you can kind of see, and I, and I cut them off. And then I took and um, I uh, spliced them into uh, my Arduino. So here I have a, a black for negative wire, that's the one that I had marked on the other end and then a green is the actual center wire that's the um, data data line and then my red over here is my uh, power so anyway uh, real simple plugs into my Arduino um, into the ground and into the 5 volt uh, and then over on this side I've just got um, the data line plugged into pin 13 on my Arduino and uh, anyway uh, I got it kind of wired up um, via Tropo to uh, my phone so that I can actually control the lights real time from a uh, phone call. So in, in order to do this, I, there's a couple things that I do. Um, first I have a, uh, some Arduino code which actually um, sends down the data, down the data Pin there it sends commands um, telling the lights to to turn on and what color and which bulb in fact to turn on and then uh, in order to uh, bridge with the phone I have to have a little Node.js app and that's um, this one right up here um, and it's not very much code but basically what it does is it um, creates a serial connection to the Arduino and then sends code back and forth from the Arduino, uh, and and then kind of the the final piece of that is a, uh, a socket server that listens um, on a port and listens for commands from uh, the uh, Tropo uh, um, application that I've written. So one of the nice things about Tropo is that it actually will allow me to create a socket connection be it scripting API straight to my computer as opposed to some of the others like Twilio and some of the other um, uh, uh, voice providers that, that do it via web callbacks. So this is actually via socket connection straight through. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and demo this a little bit. Uh, let me pull open my console here, make sure that we're connected. Um, and go ahead and let me give it a call. So Tropo will let me call it via just a standard phone number. Um, and uh, so let's go ahead and do that here. Uh, let's see. Let's turn on speakerphone. Okay, here we go. It's uh, 25262. Seven two. Okay. Press any key to change the color of my lights. Press zero to exit. Red. Green. Blue. Magenta. Orange. White. Cyan. Green. Red. Anyway, you can kind of cycle through and uh, change the lights. Um, zero hangs up. Merry Christmas. Goodbye. So, anyway, uh, that's kind of the the crux of it. I mean, there's there's some other cool things that that I can actually do. Uh, I can also call the lights uh, via Skype. So if I come in here to my lights, I can actually uh, call those from here to dial up here. Press any key to change the color of my lights. So, Press zero to exit. Let me see. Green. 
Red. Orange. Magenta. Yellow. Merry Christmas. Goodbye. So anyway, that's kind of the uh, the gist of it, but um, got a few more things planned here, and uh, of course, I, I do need to get them up on the house, but um, right now, just kind of having fun hacking around with the uh, micro with the Arduino microcontroller and um, Node.js, and um, just kind of a mashup of, of a whole bunch of uh, different things, and uh, anyway, uh, I'll be posting the code up on GitHub. For those of you interested in uh, in uh, putting this together yourselves, enjoy. We'll see it.